What's up, YouTube? Hey, I got a question from one of my users, or uh, a user on YouTube, uh, asking about engine coolant sensors and which one's which. And if you hear any weird noise, I got my partner out here helping. She's kind of just watching over things. Anyhow, um, decided to make a quick video going over the different coolant temperature sensors and such. So basically, there's three of them, and you can think of as one on the back um, thermostat over here, which I'll show in a second and two under the distributor and I'll, under the distributor I'll call the back one the one that's towards the back and the front one the one that's towards the front of the car so let's start with the one going to be a little echo in here this one right back here on the thermostat housing sorry for the echo and that one there there's another shot of it uh, that was called your um, engine coolant temperature switch the key word there is switch, and they'll call almost all these things engine coolant temperature or something. Now, because it's called a switch, if I were to short that, and that's what that actually does there, um, when it heats up, it shorts those two wires together. That'll cause your fan, let's see, that'll cause your uh, coolant fan, that's the one with your cap on top there, to kick on, and that'll tell the, um, you know, that's to cool down your coolant. It was, and also, because your coolant cools down, it helps cool down your engine. Then you got your two other ones. You can see the front one really easy here. And it's pretty dark down there, but here's one. And you can see the wires to the next one goes right back here. And if you take off your distributor, it's easier to work on those things. Anyway, so I'll talk about the back one next. The back one's called the um, engine coolant temperature gauge sending unit. So that one over there is referred to as engine coolant um, engine coolant temperature switch which switches on your fans the back one here is the engine coolant temperature gauge sending unit and the keyword there is gauge so that sends if you were to follow that wire it sends it basically to your um, dashboard and controls your needle for your temperature sensor on your um, on your gauge is there and then you have your front one and the front one is a engine coolant temperature sensor and this one if you were to follow it um, it goes to your ECU and that tells your engine or it tells your ECU which is your onboard computer um, what your temperature your engines running at and that helps it make decisions um, for like your air fuel mixture ratios and things like that based on the temperature so those are the three uh, temperature engine control temperature devices that um, often get confused and again you got your um, your switch for your fan in the back there then the back one under your distributor is for your gauges and your front one is for your ECU so I hope that clears up a little bit on the different uh, sending units or whatever you want the different engine coolant temperature devices and what they're used for if you have any questions feel free to post them uh, below in the comments and uh, if you like this video, hit like, and if you want to see more when they come out, just hit subscribe and you'll get updates as they come out. Thank you for watching.